guys, welcome back to Banana Bear Slimes. In today's video, I'll be finishing off part two of my SoCal Slime Bonanza haul. So first up, we have Straub Fatty from Luminati Slimes. And this slime is just so nice. I've wanted this one for as long as I can remember. And it so lived up to my expectations. The bottom was a super thick and squishy jelly slime. And the top was such a soft, puffy butter slime. And I loved them both so much. Like I would buy both the layers separately. But they mix into such a soft butter snow and I absolutely adore it. I play with it all the time. It also smells super nice like real fresh strawberries, which is really nice. Next is Baby Chewy, also from the Illuminati Slimes. And I have wanted to try one of her chewy textures for the longest time as well. And I loved it so much. She makes some of the best thickies out there. They are just, they feel like cornflower heavy. It's hard to explain. They're just so creamy and stretchy and still really, really thick. And I just adore it. It also smells really nice. I can't like put my finger on what it is, but it's like fruity and coconutty at the same time. And I really, really like it. The mixing was also really fun, and it came with a cute pig charm. Next is Cosmic Cloud from Slime Shady Shop. And first off, this is so pretty. Like, I didn't want to mix it because both the colors are so gorgeous, and it came with the cutest little charm and was topped with glitter. So it's a such cute attention to detail. But the texture, it, this slime is hands down the best cloud slime I've ever felt. Like no competition. It's so soft and easy to drizzle and the drizzles are just perfect. Like this was a really weird angle I was filming at and I still think the drizzles look phenomenal even though they aren't even half as good in this video as they are in real life. They are just, oh, I just love this cloud slime so much and it smells really refreshing and citrusy. Next is Banana Poof from Wahoo Slime. And just quickly, Wahoo Slime has so quickly become probably my new favorite slime shop ever. All her slimes are gorgeous. The textures are amazing and I love the scents. But onto this individual slime, it was so bright. My phone was having trouble like picking up the color. Like you guys can see, it was just so fluorescent. And the texture was such a creamy and smooth and stretchy butter slime. It puffed up a lot, which I really like. And it smells ridiculous. Like it smells like real banana, not candy banana, but literally like a real banana, which blows my mind and I absolutely love it. Next is Love Diva from Wahoo Slime. And I love the fact that this is based off an Overwatch character. I just think that's a really unique idea. And it was super cute and the colors are so pretty. It was half pink and half blue, though it did mix to a bit of purple before I filmed it. That is completely fine. It was so gorgeous and it smells amazing like peaches. I love the scent. It's one of my absolute favorites. And the texture was so thick and so creamy and stretchy and smooth and just perfect. It's definitely one of my favorite thickies I have ever felt and I highly recommend this slime. Next we have Haku from Wahoo Slime, and I think that's the correct pronunciation, but I'm not 100% sure what it even means. But this slime was such a stunning avalanche slime. I mean, look at it. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I did not want to mix it, but the end texture was actually really nice. And I wasn't sure what it would be like, so I more just got this one for its aesthetic value. But the end texture was super clicky, and you could tell it had like that clear glue, white glue hybrid. So it made it super glossy and clicky and stretchy. And I honestly really enjoy it. I play with it a lot. The only negative I have is it's hard to get out of its container for some reason, but that's not a big deal and I still really love it. Next 
Next is Sakura Floof from Cookie Slime. And I love this one so much more than I thought. My mom actually got it for me as a surprise. And it was so pretty to mix. I love the little balls of cloud slime amongst the gorgeous clear slime. But the end texture is actually like my favorite part of this somehow, even though it was so beautiful to start with. It makes such a nice icy cross jelly type texture that I actually find myself playing with more than most, probably I play with this more than like any other slime, to be honest. And I love it so, so much. It smells really nice. It's like, it's definitely like a floral scent. I'm not sure exactly what type of flower, but it just smells like a garden. And I find, I like the scent a surprising amount as well. And yeah, overall, this slime just really impressed me and I would really recommend her floofs. Next, we have Thai Iced Tea Puff from Slime and Eighth End. And this, like all of Erin's slimes, was just perfect. It was a super smooth, creamy, elastic, almost like rubbery textured butter slime, but in a good way. And I love it a lot. I play with it all the time. And the scent is so intriguing. It's like tea, but I, I honestly just can't describe it. It definitely smells like an iced tea sort of like bubble tea type drink and I really really love it. Next we have Peach Hai Chu from Slime Bauble and this slime I must admit was really overactivated when I got it and unfortunately it's still winter in Australia so it hasn't had a chance to like deactivate I guess. So I honestly haven't really felt this texture yet because it is still really overactivated, but that isn't really her fault because I understand that it's a two-toned slime and it was sitting in the sun all day at the event. So there is reason behind why it is overactivated, but the scent is super duper nice despite the fact that it was so like hard. It was really fun to mix and I'm sure this will be a really, really lovely thick slime once it has gone down to a normal state. And finally is the slime I got from SoCal Slime Bonanza for being a diamond pass holder. And this slime, well, I have to say it came with the most random charm. I have no idea if it was meant to be there. It's a little random man in a tube. Yep, <laughs> that, that is what came in this slime. So I don't know exactly what that was, but the texture was really fun to mix. It's super fluffy and stretchy. And SoCal Slime Bonanza was just such a great event and I loved all the extras they gave. So thank you so much. That is the end of the haul.